Wow, that's the weirdest freaking thing. I mean, this is the weirdest thing. My, my freaking video on the rant of the current state of gaming uh, is actually doing pretty well in the algorithm. Uh, I, it's like at 300 something views for a freaking 10 minute video. That's kind of impressive. I don't know how that actually happened. Um, so I, I figured since that video is doing well and by the time I actually upload this, it might have done really well by that, that time. Uh, I figured I'd do one on the Nintendo Switch 2. So uh, let me get to my thoughts, okay? Okay, so Switch 2 <laughs> is a weird, weird concept and, and you know, a weird thing to talk about because it's supposed to come out, but it hasn't come out yet. And I, I genuinely don't know um, what it looks like. It, it, we don't know its specs. We don't know anything about it. And yet people are reporting on these rumors that are like, you know, even Review Tech USA, that idiot, is reporting in the rumors. I'm just like, Review Tech, no one's going to listen to you. You don't, you don't even know what you're talking about. You're just a freaking moron at, at the end of the day. All he does is post content that's moronic, and he doesn't talk about any of the issues that needs to be talked about. He just says everyone's a problem, and, and to be honest with you, everyone is technically a problem, but I don't think RTU knows what he's talking about, and so I never take any of his videos with uh, a grain of salt because you know, I'm, I am aware the guy made a live stream Talking about one of my videos where I had freaking clink bags. Do you know what clink is? Rich, let me tell you. Clink are bottle redemption centers. And guess what? It wasn't trash. It was freaking clink. Okay? And clink is basically you put bottles in a bag and then you bring them over to the Hannaford at some point. And unfortunately speaking, uh, I like to wait. I like to wait until I have enough bottles to bring over. Usually. Usually. If I can help it. If I can help it, I just wait. You know? But anyway, clink bang. So here the guy was saying that freaking, oh, the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be the most underpowered uh, console in the world, blah, 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 blah. And, and yet we have multiple reports saying that it's actually pretty in, in between a PS4 and a freaking PS uh, uh, close to an Xbox Series S. I mean, what the, what the, it's like the guy doesn't know what he's talking about, I'm telling you. But uh, other than that, guys. Uh, Nintendo Switch 2 is an interesting topic because, first of all, we know that the thing is coming out, but we don't know much else about it. We don't know what it looks like. Again, we don't know the full specs. Uh, it could be different from what we're hearing. Uh, it could be the same as what some of the things. Because they keep changing what the specs are every single day. There's always a new rumor coming out about what the specs are. And possibly, quite possibly, none of it is true. And we just have to wait until Nintendo actually announces and talks about the specs, you know? Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm not gonna sit there. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there and freaking watch all these videos and articles and stuff about oh here are the Nintendo Switch 2 specs. Uh, no, it's like it's like watching a, a video for the Pixel, the next Pixel spec, or the next Samsung phone specs. Like it's ridiculous. I don't want to hear that crap because obviously I know what the specs are gonna. Well, I know partially what the specs are gonna be. I know what they're gonna focus on. They're gonna focus on AI stuff, but. At the moment, you know, I'm just telling you, it's not going to happen like you think it's going to happen, right? It's not going to happen because they're not going to talk about the Nintendo Switch 2 right now. Because it's, it's, it's pointless. You, you, don't, you, you don't have, like, they, they haven't announced it yet. They haven't even talked about it. They haven't even shown a game for it. So what, what, are you, what are you guys talking about this stuff for? And I know, I know, it's excitement. People getting excited over their video games system. Oh, don't get, don't get it twisted. I love the Nintendo Switch. Okay, the Nintendo Switch is a badass system. Okay, no matter which version, I have all three versions. Okay, I have the original Switch from like I got it in like 20, 2018. I got the Nintendo Switch OLED and the Nintendo Switch Lite. Okay, but let me tell you, I'm not gonna freaking sit there and, you know get hyped over a video game system that I haven't seen and I haven't seen any games for. I mean, what am I going to do? Am I going to judge it based on its predecessor? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Come on. We, we all know with Nintendo systems and with systems in general, just because the predecessor was good doesn't mean that the next system is going to be good or that it's going to be, like, hype ready um, at that point in time, you know? It's kind of the weird thing about gaming... You know, you can get really excited about as a console, but then you can get really disappointed. And that's kind of how I feel about the PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles. I, I just feel like, I just feel like we were hyped too soon. And, um, I, you know, I, I bought them. And guess what? Let me tell you, 
I would not have bought them if I knew that a couple of years later I would still be playing PlayStation 4 occasionally and Xbox One X. I, I would not be playing, I would not have bought the systems had I known this crap, okay? I did buy a Switch like a year after it came out, but that's because the Switch is hype, okay? I'm just, I'm just letting you know this. The Switch is hype. And I did get a Steam Deck a couple of years, uh, uh, or was it a year? Or, no, I think it was, I think it was like a, yeah, uh, around a year and a half after it came out. Uh, Steam Deck is like really cool too, but I, I think the Steam Deck has a lot more problems than the Switch 2 is going to have. I'm just letting you know. Um, but the thing is, guys, you, you got to understand that the Switch 2 is just another Nintendo system at the end of the day. And until we hear actual, actual stuff coming from Nintendo, I refuse to talk in depth about it. You know, oh, well, I'm gonna make. That's why I didn't. You know, I have an. I have a channel that I was gonna dedicate to only Nintendo content, but the problem is, I don't want to talk about speculation. I don't want to talk speculative. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it on this channel because this channel has the traction. But I don't. I'm not gonna talk speculative. Okay. I. I, I don't want to talk speculation and anything like that. I just want to talk about what I know, and what I know is that this isn't, thing hasn't been announced yet. So. Uh, Switch 2, I, I'm excited, looking forward to another Switch, another Switch system. I know it's going to be another Switch system, but I, at this point, I, I just, I, I, for, first of all, that design, I mean, that, that's a concept render, right? So it's not going to be the actual design, but that looks awful. That looks awful, and they've had patents on it. These are based on patents, by the way. These are all based on patent, patents, and let me tell you, these look awful. These, these are some of the worst things I've ever seen, but the fact of the matter is, guys, I, I don't have much to say on this uh, subject, uh, Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, I'm very concerned uh, based on like, like a couple of things. Um, you know, I'm concerned about storage size. That's an important thing. And I want to finally be able to use Disney Plus in this freaking thing and all of the other streaming services, to be honest with you. I mean, storage size is not a, that big of a concern because you can just use a micro SD card, right? And they're coming out with two terabyte micro SD cards now, uh, or at least in the future. Um, but let me tell you, micro SD. Okay, I am not looking forward to. Oh well, I I I I can't wait to buy a, a micro SD card for the sixty four gigabyte console. Imagine if it was sixty four gigabyte. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be more than sixty four gig because that, that would be ridiculous if it was sixty four gigs, just like the Switch OLED was. Oh, good luck. A minor spec bump is not a good thing, especially when the Switch OLED uh, has no LED screen. And this Switch 2 may not have an OLED screen. So I'm just saying, wait till you hear more about it, guys. It's it, Just don't sit there and make, like, just talk speculation about something that you can't speculate about. I don't speculate on anything unless I can prove it in my mind. And usually I turn out to be correct. So let's just leave it at that.